Hey folks, I'm Joe Fernandez with the AI Developer Relations team at Google. If you're interested in building artificial intelligence into your development projects, there was a ton of content for you at Google I.O. this year. However, I know you're short on time, so I'm going to cover the top items in the next five minutes. And stay tuned to the end to find out how you can start programming with Google's generative AI models. Are you at all confused by artificial intelligence, machine learning, and how that all works? Our lead AI developer advocate, Lawrence Maroney, presented a quick primer for developers just getting started with AI technology. With kittens, you'll love it. Yeah, I like that idea. Uh, can we get a kitten for this video? <sighs> no, that's not the same. Moving on, on a more serious note, artificial intelligence is an extremely powerful tool that we need to approach in a responsible way. And our responsible AI team talked about Google's principled approach to generative AI and how you can apply our principles, best practices, and tools to guide your own AI projects. This is a very important issue for anyone working in this space. So if you haven't thought about this, or even if you have, I recommend you check out that session to make sure that your AI products work well for all your users. Do you love crunching numbers in spreadsheets? Do you ever wish that you could use AI to analyze your spreadsheet data? The Simple ML team has you covered. They've built an extension for Google Sheets and just added new features for forecasting and anomaly detection using AI technology. No coding experience required. Machine learning models are at the core of all AI applications, but finding and evaluating them can be a challenge for many developers. Kaggle, the machine learning community, has launched a dedicated hub to help you discover hundreds of open source models developed by Google and other top researchers. At the new hub, you can evaluate, tweak, and test models right in your web browser. MediaPipe is a name you may have heard if you've tried building ML apps for Android or other app platforms. This year, the MediaPipe team is updating their solutions to be easier to use across platforms, more customizable, and with the performance you'd expect from a team that specializes in building high output, low latency ML pipelines. They even have solutions for applying fun video effects. Hey, wait a minute, you're, you're not gonna apply that stuff to my head, are you? I didn't agree to that. Hey, hold on. <laughs> TensorFlow is at the heart of machine learning efforts at Google and for thousands of ML developers worldwide. This year, the TensorFlow team is advancing support for very large models with D-Tensor parallel processing for models. They're also making it easier for you to use JAX models in the TensorFlow ecosystem with a new tool called jax to tf Running machine learning tasks in a web browser with JavaScript might seem a little ambitious, but there are hundreds of thousands of developers and researchers doing exactly that every week with WebML technology. Jason Mays provided a roundup of advancements in WebML including web GPU support, a new zero to hero training course, and a whole lot more. Computer vision and natural language processing are some of the most popular applications of AI technology. And Keras has some really easy to use APIs to help you build those models and applications. In his Applied ML with Keras session, Google engineer Jonathan Bischoff shows you how to build generative AI solutions for images and text. Finally, everybody seems to be chatting with AI these days, and we want developers to be able to work with Google's generative AI models too. With that in mind, we announced the Palm API for building generative AI applications and a tool called Makersuite that lets you quickly prototype those apps in your web browser. Get on the waitlist to access the Palm API by following the link in the description. And that's all the time I have to tell you about all the amazing advancements in AI at Google I.O. this year. Links to everything I talked about are in the description. It's an amazing time to be working in AI, and we're excited to see what you create with this technology. So keep learning, keep building, make something great. We'll see you again soon.